I think we need to go ahead and talk about the left for a second. I think we really need to break down this ideology and go back to a lot of its roots. For this, I am going to go to this book called Karl Marx Racist. This book was published in uh, 1979. It was written by a former socialist who kind of wanted to spill the beans after he lost interest in the ideology. So what he did is he kind of went through all of uh, Marx and Engels' uh, letters to each other. And what he found is all these offensive beliefs that were held by Karl Marx and Engels. Chapter 7, page 71, Karl Marx on the Negro. Marx and Engels are customarily depicted as admirers of Abraham Lincoln, resolute foes of chattel slavery, and courageous champions of Negro rights, Negro equality, and Negro freedom. There is scarcely an iota of truth to this interpretation. Publicly and for political reasons, both Marx and Engels posed as friends of the Negro. In private, they were anti-black racists of the most odious sort. They had contempt for the entire Negro race, a contempt they expressed by comparing Negroes to animals, by identifying black people with idiots, and by continuously using the appropriate term again in their private correspondence. Since they wrote to each other in German, this meant inserting the offensive English word instead of using the correct German word again. Since neither revolutionary theorists had much interest in the Negro and still less in the fate of Africa south of the Sahara, the quest for Marx and Engels' true views on the Negro has required a diligent and prolonged search. It has been rewarded, if that is the correct word, by some revealing expressions of gutter race hatred of the lowest sort. Marx wrote Engels on July 30th, 1862, that the Jewish Hergen LaSalle was fortunately leaving London towards the end of the week for his native Germany, adding, It is now absolutely clear to me, as both the shape of his head and his hair texture shows he descends from the negroes who joined moses's flight from egypt unless his mother or grandmother on the paternal side hybridized with an again now the combination of germanness and jewishness with a primarily negro substance necessarily creates a strange product the pushiness of the fellow is also like wait they never bring this up in the socialist meeting If you're a little bit confused by what was just happening there, Marx has his own theory about black Egyptians and black Jews. Because apparently he thinks there was some race mixing going on in Egypt when the fucking Jews were making their exodus. So he looks at other Jews and by their appearance, he makes a determination about their purity as a fucking Jew. And of course, this is on the basis of them having the possibility of inferior nigger blood from Africa.